Nearly 40 years after his plane crashed, a Vietnam veteran's remains landed at Louisville's airport today. Local veterans were there to honor Kenneth Leroy Cunningham. He'll be buried later this week in his home state of Illinois. WLKY's Mark Vanderhoff was at the airport. He talked to veterans about this homecoming. Mark? Well, Vicki, these veterans did not know Kenneth Leroy Cunningham, but they are proud of his service, and they want to make sure that our country never forgets all the servicemen who went missing in action. I flew in the plane he was in, was one of the planes we took over uh, two years earlier. I flew the same general area he was in. Wayne Klotz of Fern Creek had the same job in Vietnam as Kenneth Leroy Cunningham, flying on Mohawk surveillance planes. But Cunningham didn't make it home until Tuesday. Klotz and other local Vietnam veterans were at Louisville International Airport when Cunningham's remains landed. They saluted the fallen soldier as his family took him home. The awesome part of it was to see a people standing in, in the airport area and, and, and watching as well as enjoying it. <clears throat> it is emotional time. Arthur Cunningham says his brother will be buried in their hometown of Albion, Illinois, near the Indiana border. In addition to the veterans seeing them off, local law enforcement escorted the procession. While none of the local veterans knew Cunningham, former infantryman Doug Foster of Middletown says it's possible he saved one of their lives. Every once in a while we get a radio call that there was a troop movement coming close to us. Well, it was the, the Mohawk team and they, they were doing it and they were passing it to us. These Vietnam veterans say it's important to honor everyone who went missing in action and bring them all home. For him, because I did that job, this could be me. Two years earlier, I could have done it. Now, Cunningham died in a crash in 1969s. His remains were actually recovered from the crash site in the 1990s, but they were only recently identified through DNA analysis. Mark Vanderhoff, WLKY News. Thank you, Mark. Local groups that attended today's honor mission included the Patriot Guard and Honor Flight. The Louisville Airport Police, Kentucky State Police, and Indiana State Police helped escort the remains.